little bit of business to attend to before this game. Riley O'Connor, a first-team All-Star selection, receiving his award for most outstanding player alongside his fellow All-Star teammates Matt Hossack and Austin Shanks. Uh, but when the action gets going on the floor, it's Brampton off to the quick start. Third goal of the game already and second for Jeff T. Warriors going to strike late in the period. Austin Shanks weaving into space, fires home to cut the lead to 3-1. to one. 38 seconds left in the period. If that's a late goal, Shanks is going to set up. Jordan Robertson, a buzzer beater. One tick left on the clock. Make it 3-2 after the first period. Second period now, Patrick McCrory looking to tie the game. Quinton Martin comes up with the big save. And this was the theme most of the night. Warriors would need the next goal to really establish something. It was always Brampton doing the scoring. Teat with his third of the night. It's a power play goal. It's 5-2. Ryan Keenan fires off the glass. It falls for Bennett Drake, and he rips a goal from distance. Here come the Warriors again, but... Uh, it's Martin coming up with a stop on Robertson. At the other end, Jason Weber comes with one stop, and the second one is even better as he robs Randy Jones. Soon after, the Warriors would thank him with his power play goal by Ryan Keenan. It is 7-4. Tyler Pereira looking for a shooting lane. All he finds is a face full of moose. Sean Durock crushing him with a hard to clean hit as you will ever see in the game of lacrosse. And after a moment like that, the next goal will be nice. And not going to happen. It once again comes from the Brampton Excelsior as this 8-4. Whippy strikes late again. Connor Kiernan, frontal assault on goal. The Warriors trail by three after two periods of play. A long delay before the start of the third period as Quentin Martin needs some patchwork on the old trousers. Excelsiors were already in the penalty box and they would have been two men down had this gone on much longer. But on that power play... There's nothing scarier than losing your pants during a game except for maybe watching Riley O'Connor unload. The lead is just two until Clark Pedersen scores once again to grab the momentum back. A Whitby cannot find the all-important next goal time and time again. Connor Kernan scores here to give Whitby some life late, but once again, it would be the Excelsior scoring the next one. They put up 12 goals on the board for the second game in a row. This time it's two more than the Warriors. 12-10 is your final and Whitby trails the series 2-0.